everyone, and welcome to another midweek video message update. As always, I trust this inquiry finds you safe, healthy, and well. Well, for certain, it is an understatement to acknowledge that we live during uncertain times. And during times of uncertainty, we seek certainty. One of the things we're struggling with is, as a society, as a world, is what is the truth? Who is speaking the truth? And there's so many different versions of the truth. What is the truth? Well, one of the ways that we pursue truth is through facts. Here's a fact. Since, 19, since the late 1970s, Americans' interest in the paranormal, Americans' interest in ghosts, if you will, has increased by 400%. Let me repeat that as a statistical fact. Since the late 1970s, Americans' interest in the paranormal. Americans' interests in ghosts, if you will, has increased 400%. Now, at first read or at first hearing of that statistical fact, we might find that strange, as in moving away from facts. How can facts move us away from facts? But here's my theological thought for us this week. Is the church today as interested in the Holy Ghost, if you will, the Spirit, is today's church as interested in the Spirit, what the Spirit is up to in the world, as we are with keeping things the same? The story of the conversation between Nicodemus and Jesus comes to mind. Jesus tells Nicodemus in the world that we must be born from above. We must be born a second time. And Nicodemus says, well, how in the world can we be born a second time? Are we supposed to, as adult, full-grown creatures, go back into our mother's womb? How in the world can that ever happen? And then we hear Jesus reply. What is born of the flesh is flesh, and what is born of the Spirit is spirit. Do not be astonished that I said to you, you must be born from above. The wind blows where it chooses, and you hear the sound of it, but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. Friends and neighbors in Christ, it is my hope, it is my prayer, it is my passion and leadership that Christ Lutheran Church congregation get caught up in the Spirit's work. Do we know where the Spirit is taking us? Do we know how the Spirit does His work? No, we don't. And that's the gospel. That's the good thing. That's the good news. We are simply given the gift of faith that we might participate in what it is that the Spirit is doing through us. Perhaps our interest in the work of the Holy Spirit at and through Christ Lutheran Church might increase by 400% as well. Something to think about. God bless. God loves you. I love you. Take care. See you again.